You're listening to Zap Night, a video game review podcast. Join your hosts Danny, Kaylee, Seth, and Evan as we review video games from all systems and all genres. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 52 for Zap Night. You had to look at your paper for that. I did have to. (laughs) I'm sorry, I forgot. That quick. I'm your host, Danny, and we have Lori back again. Hi, guys. Hello, Lori. So, I'm really sorry (laughs) that we're not talking about Final Fantasy VI today. Um, We've been hyping it up, and it's... I, I have no one to blame but myself, because... I have literally not invested more than five hours into the game. And it makes me sad because it's a Final Fantasy game. I should be like fully invested and loving it. And I'm just not getting into it. It's frustrating. But we are working on it. Um, It should be next. uh, It should be our next episode. uh, The first of whatever the next month is. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what is next <laughs> this is september this is september right so october 1st <laughs> yeah. yes october 1st should be the final fantasy 6 podcast episode we'll let you know if it's not you'll find out when it's not but it should be so with that said um today we are talking about go vacation yeah and we literally just picked this up like a couple (laughs) weeks ago like we didn't just pick it up to start playing it we literally went and bought it just a couple weeks ago well second hand kind of it was still sealed so i Uh, mean i guess you know second hand ish (laughs) um but yeah uh we paid i think 20 bucks for it yeah and uh yeah, I mean, it's been a fun game so far. Or, well, not so far. I mean, we beat it. Technically beat it. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I mean, we played all the sports. What? <laughs> we played all the sports. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, well, we got the, really we got, say... the end, we got the end credits. Okay. So, yes. Yes, we did beat the game. <laughs> That's how I consider we beat the game, is if you get the credits, you've beat the game. That's I we, we didn't hundred percent it, but there still is a lot left to do. So anyway, let's let's get into it. Enough bantering. <laughs> um, Go Vacation was developed by uh, Namco Bandai Games. Uh, originally released for the Wii in October two thousand eleven, and then released again on the Switch in July two thousand eighteen. And um, you can kind of tell that it's a Wii game. When we first started playing it, there was a few things that we noticed that were, like, odd. And when we started playing more and more of it, it's like, we had to look it up and see if it was a Wii game. And sure enough, it's part of the, like, Wii... Ski. Ski. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they they have, like, a whole series of, like, Wii Ski and, like, Wii something else. Wii Ski and Snowboard. And then Vacation. Gotcha. And really, the game plays so much like Wii Sports Resort and oh, yeah. Wii, the Wii Sports in general. It's a very similar kind of game. Um, so if you like Wii Sports Resort, this is a good game to pick up. But we're going to talk about it anyway, so you don't have to. But, you know, if you like these kind of games, this is a good one. Anyway, um, there's no story. Did you put down anything for a story? I know we kind of talked about it. I mean, I gave it a, st- a score. Did you did you give it your own score? I did. Okay. Well, let's, let's talk about it. Okay. What did you give it first? I gave it a six. Okay. Why? <laughs> because it doesn't really have a story. Okay. But, I mean, you can make up your own story. That's true. There was this adventurer, Lori, who went out into the it's, resort. It's more so like the house thing. Yeah. Like you can you can have your own house and you can you know your villa or whatever and you can go to the different like areas. I I don't know. I think it... there's there's a story to be told yeah. there. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, I didn't give it a story score. I instead um, averaged the rest of my scores to uh, give me a story score, and my story score is seven. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I I just. 
there isn't really a story. I mean, it's just you exploring the island of Kauai or something like that. And, um, I mean, really, there's... But that's the story. There's that's nothing your else. story. I, I guess. <laughs> yes. Well, I give it a seven. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, graphics. Uh, the game actually looks really good. I don't know what the Wii game looks like. We don't have the Wii game. We thought about... That's literally, literally my notes. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good for a Wii game. Um, it... I, I we were going to try and hunt it down to play it before the podcast. We didn't really get a chance to. But um I mean, I would assume that what they probably did is they took the original Wii platform and just kind of upscaled it to make it look a little bit cleaner, a little more polished for the Switch version. That said, there's a few things that kind of bugged me. Uh I guess really just one thing is all I wrote down. Uh, the waves looked really bad for waves, <laughs> like surfing waves. But otherwise, I mean, it looked really clean. Yeah, it did. It looked really cl- clean, looked good on the Switch. Um, I, I liked the night and day differences. Yeah, that was, that was nice. They had that feature. Right. And the four, there's four different, like, three. No, four. Four different, like, sections. Four different resorts. Right. Yeah. And that make up the island. Yeah. And each one had its own, like, very unique atmosphere. And then night and day on top of that. So, you know, you've got... What are, what are all the different resorts? We've got the... The marine. The marine, which is, like, beachy and surfing and... And then you have the city. Right. And the snow. The snow resort. Which, and then the mountain resort. And the mountain... The snow resort is a lot like the mountain resort. But, like, the mountain resort doesn't have any snow. <laughs> you used to it's, say mountain it's confusing <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> the the mountain resort is like the like mountain hiking hiking backwoods kind of stuff right and then the snow is like your typical like ski mountain right yeah yeah that's a good way to put it um but yeah i really enjoyed all the differences and that each each resort had its own atmosphere and its own like I mean, even when we start talking about the mini games, it's like they're all catered to the resort that you're in. And it makes it really interesting because you can, you know, be hanging out at the beach one minute and the next thing you know, you're at, you know, a ski resort. And I don't know. It's fun that way. Mm -hmm. It breaks it up without it being, I don't know, drastic, I guess. I would like to know what the Wii was like, though. Yeah. We'll have to hunt it down and give it a shot. Yes. So I give it a nine for graphics. What did you give it? An eight. An eight. Nice. Um, gameplay. The meat. The meat of the game. I um, know. I have a list. She has a. Oh my goodness! She has a huge list of notes. It's really just you know all the stuff. All the different mini games. Yeah. All right. So let's let's talk about the mini games. Um, we have. All the mini games are broken into the four different resorts, and we already talked about the four different resorts. Um, and the mini games are kind of catered to those resorts. Um, some of them kind of span all of them. There's like the the bungee jump one that spans all of them. There's always a bungee jump spot. Yep. I think there's multiple. I, yeah, because there's like eight. You get stamps for the bungee jump. You get stamps on which ones you complete. And we've done one in each resort, but there's like eight total. So obviously there's more to be done, more mountains to climb. And then the fishing. The fishing is the same way, yeah. There's a lot of different fishing spots that aren't really listed as mini games, even though they are mini games. Um, But each resort has uh, its own stamp like collection. And when you complete a mini game, you get a stamp for that that resort, and that's how you know which ones you've completed and which ones you for haven't. that activity, right? Yeah. So, um, the the beach one. What are what are all the mini games for that? You wrote um, down for the marine resort, not beach. Sorry. <laughs> um, you have the ATV tricks and races, the marine 
bike, tricks and races, scuba diving, surfing, beach volleyball, skydiving, the water gun battle. That's and, fun. And the triathlon. What was your favorite of those? Probably the surfing. Oh, really? Yeah. Even though it was like hard to get the hang of. And we didn't really do it. Like we did it once and we didn't play it again. Um, I really liked the water tag or squirt squirt gun one. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Water tag? Water gun. Water gun. It's, it's well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's all the same Tomatoes, thing. potatoes. <laughs> um, so I don't think any of those were really frustrating. Um, the beach volleyball. Yeah, I guess I, it's a lot like the tennis one. I didn't like the fact that you don't move your character. Yeah. Like, you just have to press a button that your character moves by itself. It's too simple. <laughs> you do have to push the button at the right time. Yeah. And the volleyball one, you get, like, a spike option where you can jump and spike the volleyball. And you can move around a little bit, but the game really plays itself. As long as you hit the button to hit the ball, you're set. So, yeah, spike. it is... Well, it's not always, but you're not always spiking it. <laughs> you lost the joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody got it. I'll listen back and be like, oh, that's what she meant. Set spike. Oh, gotcha. Sorry. Anyway. So, um, your modes of transpa- transportation also. Marine, right. In marine the- bike and the ATV. Which one did you like? Ah, uh, that's tough. I think that one, it's really like a 50-50 because there's a lot of exploration to be done with the marine bike, which who calls it a marine bike? It's a jet ski. It's a jet ski. (laughs) (laughs) When Um, when we first, because the copy that we got of this game that we bought um, is from the UK, right? Oh, yeah. And when we, (laughs) I looked that up when we first started playing thinking, Maybe that's a UK Maybe it's a UK term. No, right. it's just, that's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just confusing like, that okay. way. So yeah, it's a jet ski. Jet ski or ATV. Um, but yeah, there's so much exploration to be done with both that it's really hard to say that one's better over another. Um, that's true. I liked the jet ski, but you can't use the jet ski all over the place. Like a lot of the other right. ones where you can just you choose one mode of transportation and get all, all right. over the This the resort, you really have to have both. And there's not enough spots where you can switch. Yeah. So the only way to switch is to change your screen and then it, it or to like fast travel. Fast travel. Yeah. yeah. And then it, it gives you the opportunity to change what, you know, mode of transportation you want to use. But that one is the only one that if you don't pick the right one, you're not going to have a good time, <laughs> depending on where you want to go. Um, so um, the city, the city resort, you had uh, inline skates or the skateboard to travel around on. Yep. Which one um, did you prefer? Probably the inline skates. Me too. Why? I I felt like they were easy. It was easier to control. Yeah. Um. Uh, for me, it was more the the speed was a little bit better in the skates over the skateboard because you had to actually like the skateboard. You had this kick motion and it made you feel slower. Yeah. Where the inline skates, you just started like doing the you know running motion and you would start skating and I it always, was like, quicker. I always liked skating when I was younger, so. (laughs) I like skateboarding, so I would prefer to say skateboarding because I (laughs) like skateboarding more, but I mean, it just, this game made the inline skates a little bit easier to use. Um, But there was a lot of mini games using the skateboard and the um, inline skates. Yeah, and you had the option for this one, for like the, the skate tricks and the half pipe. Oh yeah, and then you they can had the the grind the grindmaster. Yep, and you you could, whatever one you were wearing or using when you went into the activity it was the one that you used. Yep, and that was kind of nice because if you did prefer to use the skateboard over the skates, 
you know, you'd be going into it with what you're familiar with, I guess. So what were all the mini games for so the So they also had the uh the wheel slide, which was really weird. The like huge slide that you like skated down. Oh yeah. And then you like drop down the center of it, right? That's weird. I don't what that wasn't even a mini game. That was yeah, just was. like there. Oh, well, was it? Yes. That was one of the mini games. I don't remember. That was one of the stamps. I'm sorry, I don't remember. That's that's the one that made me motion sickness. Oh yes. Because it was going so fast. And yeah. like the arrows on the sides. Yep. Yeah. And because the arrows were moving and you were moving, and it, it was a lot of like moving side to side motion that made it really uh, yeah. It's an easy one to get motion sickness <laughs> on. Um, so there was also hang gliding. <laughs> Uh, pie throwing, which I really liked. That was a fun one. It was cute. Yeah. Um, the glass harp. Right. Yeah. Which was pretty fun. Eh, it depends on which role you played. <laughs> <laughs> if you had one no or seven. Yeah. <laughs> or or 150. Yeah. <laughs> um, the motor fest, which was the racetrack. Oh, right. Yeah. That was different. Because you actually used a race car instead yeah. of your mode of transportation in the mm-hmm. city. Uh, the mini golf. Right. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Table hockey. Uh. <laughs> and then they had the little little like carnival tent area where they had the like bucket ball, the boxing one, the batting cage, and the whack a mole. Right. And I really liked the batting cage. I really liked the whack-a-mole. <laughs> but I think that would have been more fun with the Wii remote instead of using... Because we used the uh, the Pro, the Switch Pro controller. Yeah. And it just... There's no... There's a possibility to use motion controls with this, you know, with the controllers that we have. And there is some motion involved with some of the some of the mini games, but they didn't utilize it on the Switch, where I feel like on the Wii version they may have done better to utilize the motion and the you know, the pointing Yeah. You know um like the whack a mole. Yeah. Where you may have been able to point at the screen and actually hit the moles instead of just picking Mo- which one you want. Moving your stick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that one, that one was fun, but could have been better. (laughs) Um, I really liked, in this one, I liked trying to do the grinding. That was fun because it was hard, but it wasn't like overly frustrating hard. Uh, and the difficulty increase was kind of nice. It was nice and smooth. It was like hard or easy, medium, hard. Um, yeah. What else with the city? I don't remember anything else with the city. Oh, they had the messenger or the um, mail delivery thing. That was fun. I really liked that. You had to find this guy who... He was a mailman, right? Or no, it was a lady. Mm-hmm. Um, and they wanted you to deliver mail to s- people that are hidden in the town or in the city. And so once you activated the quest, you went and had to hunt down this person to hand them the mail. And they were always hidden in like a funny spot. And the the, the screens, while it's loading or preparing to actually start the mini game gave you a hint of where the person was located. So once you started the mini game, you could actually head towards that location and hope to actually find this person. And some of them were really well hidden. Yeah. So, uh, anything else with the city? What do you think? I don't think so. We can move on. Move it on. Snow. Snow. Um, for the snow resort, you had the skis, the snowboard, the snowmobile, and the tube. The inner tube. The inner tube was terrible. <laughs> to get around on. It was really cute as like, uh, you know, you go to the top of the mountain and you like inner tube down because it goes so fast. 
and you're like kind of terrifying (laughs) you're spinning all over the place and um some spots like way up the mountain are like icy instead of snowy so you speed up even faster and you can get some air on some of the jumps it's it's pretty cool Um, but otherwise, if you're not going down the mountain, you are in the inner tube and you're just kind of like hopping around trying to get (laughs) to where, yeah, trying to get to where you need to be. And that's not fun. You can't like steer. Right. The best thing you could do is get up off of the inner tube and walk around. Yeah. (laughs) Um, I really liked the skis. I liked the snowmobile a lot because of the speed. Well, you could get everywhere. Yeah. Like, you could go up the mountain, where with the skis and the snowboard, you can't go up the mountain. You have to take a lift or a helicopter right. or something. Um, and the lifts were cute. The lifts were riding really cute. The, riding the ski lifts? Yeah, because you you have the option, when you get on the ski lift, it goes to its location, and you have the option to sit there and look out the window and enjoy your trip up there, or you could just hit the bu- the A button and skip it, and then you're boom, you're to your location. So there's no like you don't have to wait that time. You just go up the mountain. But I don't know, it made it made it cute. Yeah, it did. So mini games. Yes, we had uh, the snowman making, which was kind of difficult with two people yeah and weird yeah i didn't i don't know i didn't really like that one um snowball fight that was fun the snow tubing right uh the dog sled i really liked the dog sled we I didn't play barely, it yeah I barely we didn't play it very much yeah i think it was I, it was just a time race wasn't it like it wasn't it was one of those races where you went first and then i would go yeah. afterwards and who had whoever had the best time won mm-hmm. um and then they had the snow tricks the ski jump and the mogul mm-hmm. i think that's how you say it <laughs> it was like a survival thing <laughs> like who can who can survive the best <laughs> on on the skis um the snowmobile races and tricks uh the snow races must have been like ski races or something. Yeah, I think so. And then the ice fishing. Yeah. The ice fishing was interesting. You had to actually drill the holes and then you fished in the little hole. But you couldn't get like all the other fishing spots you had fish to collect. Yeah. Like you would get different fish and those, you know, you would have a stamp book with all the different fish that you would get. Where the ice fishing one, it was like one fish, and every now and then, depending on where you had your your little hole at, you would either get, you know, between one and like ten fish. Yeah. Per like I don't know. Cast. Yeah, there you go. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Um so yeah, it was I don't know. It was it was neat. It was a different take on the normal fishing. So what was your favorite game of that resort? Um, I don't know. Probably the snowmobile racing. Or the ski jumps. I also really like ski jumps. Really, all the jumps are kind of fun because you have, you know, there's a couple different buttons. It's not quite as extravagant as, like, Tony Hawk, but you have a couple different button combinations that you can do to do different moves. And whoever does, like, the best combination of moves without wiping out wins, essentially. Um, but, yeah, I, I do enjoy those. The snow races, was that the one where you had to go in between the, like, flags? Probably. The, like, downhill skiing. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I liked that. Did you? Yeah. There was a similar one um, in the Marine Marine Marina. The, like... I think it was the jet ski where you could go through the flags. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Anything else with the snow? Oh, I did want to say that the snowball fight, and when you die in the snowball fight, or die, or, oh. you like, you shrivel up and then you like turn into a snowman. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. It's really awkward. Like, 
we were playing and then all of a sudden somebody turned into a snowman it's like why did they just do that and then pretty soon i turned into a snowman i'm like what is going on and then i realized that i must have lost the snow fight and now i'm a snowman (laughs) (laughs) so for the mountain resort yep we had the off-road car or the horse I think I think the horse was faster than the car. Really? Yes. I don't believe you. We'll have to test it. <laughs> but yes. I'm pretty we'll sure. We'll have to race each other. We'll have to race each other, but I'm I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure the horse is faster. Um but I I honestly I think this was my favorite resort. There was a a kayak too. Oh yeah, that's right. You could have a kayak. You could get in the kayak. Yep forgot about that yeah i I remember that now because the the mountain resort has like a little lake that you can and streams that you can ride down you can um you can carpool too yeah i I didn't even know about that with the car and the kayak that's cool it was on one of the loading screens oh was it yeah (laughs) i was wondering where you came up with that you're just (laughs) like hey try and carpool and i'm like okay (laughs) um yeah that was neat yeah there was a there was a lot of fun mini games with this one. You want to go through them? Yeah, sure. There was a uh, kayaking, the rafting, um, paragliding, horseback riding, off-road racing, tennis, and then the shooting range, which you had clay shooting, rifle shooting, target shooting, and the quick draw. Yeah, the quick draw was so much fun. <laughs> it's it's a great it's really simple it's a great mini game when you're playing with somebody else right yeah <laughs> i don't <laughs> i don't know if you can even play that one one player i mean you've got to be able to yeah maybe it's just a time attack it, sort of it thing. is just like a timer thing yeah but the the like competition aspect is fun. yeah it is fun like they have okay so so the quick draw one they have like four different events and you have to use a button combination to get in your ready position. And then you like lift up on your joystick to shoot or lift up and hit A to shoot. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so when you, when the timer ticks down to whatever, what either there's a coin toss or a timer ticks down or, you know, it gives you some sort of like indication of when you're supposed to shoot and whoever gets closest to that moment wins so you know if lori does it as soon as the timer hits zero then she would win because she would get like point zero something seconds anyway yes it was fun yeah it was very competitive that one (laughs) it was very competitive um i also enjoyed the uh the racing the like car racing yeah because you had to like find your way to the spot and and you could go any direction you wanted to I mean, more or less. Yeah. Because you could, you had your off-road car, which you could go anywhere aside from the water. So it was like you had to get from point A to point B as fast as possible before anybody else. And depending on which route you took, you know, it was either a good thing or a bad thing. The hard one on that one was going up the mountain because there's so many different ways to head up the mountain. Yeah. So it's easily to get lost. Next thing you know, you're heading in a railroad tunnel going the wrong way. Trapping to us quite a few times. <laughs> um, so the things I kind of missed on this one, I really thought maybe there would be archery. Yeah. And also with the horse, I really expected some sort of like obstacle course with the horse, like to try and like jump over hurdles or something. Yeah, that is weird. I never even thought about that. That's true. It's funny that they don't have like a horse race activity yeah. kind of thing when there is so many horse like sports so yeah that is interesting um i was surprised that they didn't have some sort of plane flying game you know like we sports resort you could get in the plane and like fly around and shoot the yeah. balloons and stuff and this didn't have anything like that there was no you could get in in the um on the beach, you could get in the plane to go like a fast travel thing or to tour the, the island. The tour, yeah. But that was it. 
there was also a plane that would fly every now and then in your resort and it would turn pink on the map and i have no idea what it did <laughs> i still don't know i don't know if you need to be like underneath it i i have no idea there's probably a screen a tip screen oh that yeah tells there you. probably is yeah <laughs> So let's see. What other notes do I have um, for gameplay? The the villa. Oh yes. The whole like extra part of this game, you get this villa and you can unlock all this like furniture and stuff to like decorate your villa. And you can decorate it however you want. I mean there's so many different options. There's like I'm gonna throw out a number. There's like maybe ten different styles. And each of those styles has, like, maybe another 10 different um, unlockable furniture options. So, like, you could either have the outside of your house. You could have, like, furniture, like, couch furniture. Or you could have, like, table furniture. You could have, like, kitchen furniture. And each, like... They're all basically the same, but each row has a different style. So it was like, you know, you could either unlock the Japanese house and then all the Japanese furniture or whatever, or you can unlock the like, um, modern, you know, house style and modern furniture. For example, I didn't unlock them all, but I'm just saying, <laughs> for example, that's kind of what it would be like. Um, and then with all that too, once you unlock them, you can like change the colors. Yep. We didn't even talk about that with like clothes and stuff. No, and I, each that, resort. Yeah, you, that should have been in the graphics. Really, <laughs> each resort you have like you can, you can change your your outfit and the color of your outfit. You can change your like gear, like your car or your skates or whatever. Yeah, you can have a completely different um, paint scheme to all of your all of your transportation options. Um, and then you can also unlock different things depending on what you do and how long, how, how many days you play. Um, every day they unlock like a new something, something like sometimes you get a new set of dogs that you can use, which is a whole nother aspect <laughs> of this oh, game. Yeah. Um, you could get, um, you would unlock different clothing for different areas or you can unlock, you know, different vehicle options. So yeah, there's there's a lot of there's things a, to unlock. Yeah, in this there's game. A, a lot of unlockables. Um, there's also treasure chests that you can find in each one of the resorts. You can have a, tre a treasure chest in you know. Uh, there's like a handful of treasure chests in each resort that you can unlock, and the treasure chests will give you um, clothing. You know, all these different options, unlockable things, clothing or vehicle or something. Um, so again, just other things to be on the lookout for while you're playing the game. Um, oh, some of the mini games had different variations depending on, um, I don't know, not really depending on how many times you play it, but just like what you want to do. Different levels. You mean like right. the easy level and then you have like the... Well, kind of like the pie throwing competition. You could either be the pie thrower or yeah. you could be the pie like dodger. Yeah. And that was kind of fun. Um, yeah, I guess that's really it. <laughs> 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 it seemed like there was more variations. I wrote it down, but Well, yeah, if you go I back to if it. you go back to a mini game, there are different like things that you have to complete for each one. Yeah, and each it seems like each mini game has like a set of like badge things that you can collect too or complete. Like if you in this mini game, if you get first place in all of the challenges, then you unlock something, you unlock the badge, you know, a star badge thing. Um, yeah. Uh, some games were not fun. <laughs> some games were not fun. <laughs> the one that comes to mind was the, uh, the tennis was it tennis? I'm pretty sure it was tennis. Where, like, it just... There was no rhyme or reason to where your person moved. And you had a computer with you, too. So, like, it was me and a computer against you and a computer. And the computer would, you know... You could either be in the front or the back, and the computer would be the opposite. But, like, there was no... 
you couldn't move the character yourself to be in a strategic position. It was just wherever the ball went is where you ran to. And sometimes you were left on the wrong side of the court and then the ball goes flying to the other side. And it's just, it was goofy. It didn't work very well. (laughs) Uh, You know, it was very similar to the volleyball one where you couldn't, you know, move a whole lot. It was just pushing A when the ball got to you. But specifically, the tennis one was even worse just because of how the computer acted and, you know, the limited space that you had to actually hit the The, ball. uh, The table hockey, too. You had a computer player with you, and it made it really difficult. Sorry. (laughs) It's time to go to bed. (laughs) Um, yeah. So what'd you give it for gameplay? Did you just call me Kaylee? No, I didn't. <laughs> Did we didn't say this already? No, I don't think so. I gave it a seven. I gave it an eight for gameplay. Overall, I think it was like, it was, it was easy to play. Some of it was too easy to play. Yeah. But there's a lot to do. Also. Right, right. Um, it does kind of get boring quick, uh, especially running around in the uh, in the resorts. But, um, like like you said, overall, there's so much to unlock, so much to explore. I kind of wish that there was more reward for your exploration, but and it is what it is. I uh, the cameras. The camera control really drove me crazy. Oh, yeah. Because there, you have two joysticks. Like, how hard would it have been to add a camera control to to your movement? And it's just but not you, there. You, you might not actually have two joysticks if you're not using the, the pro uh, controller. I see what you mean. And I plus, this was mean. originally for the Wii. Right. But I mean, you know... When you're upscaling it for the Switch, just and you, you just add that feature. That's just what you do. <laughs> you're you're remaking the game essentially. You just there's some things that you got to deal with. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I was kind of annoyed by it though. There was many times that I wanted to look at something and my character just wouldn't look I got, at it. I got used to it after a while. Yeah, you kind of have to if you play it. You just you just have to because there is nothing else you can do. <laughs> Um, do you want to move on to music? Sure. I gave it a four. Really? I did, yeah. I gave it a seven. Really? Yes. Jeez. Um. I. (laughs) (laughs) Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll wait. Um, I thought, I thought all the like sounds and stuff were really good. Mm -hmm. And then like some of the resorts that had like the intercom system. That you was know, they fun. had all these like little things going on in the background and the music playing in the background. I thought it was clever. Yes. For, you know, a game that doesn't necessarily need to have need to have music. Yeah. Um the intercom system was really fun. There was one time that I rode the ferry in the mountain resort, and the ferry would take you kind of around the lake. And as we we're going by the castle. The intercom lady was like, and on your right, you will see the <laughs> castle, blah, blah, blah. And there's a lot of rich history with this castle. And if you choose to tour this location, you know, it just did the whole, like the whole thing that would happen if you were really on a ferry going by something historic. It just, yeah. it was cool. It was fun. Um, it was like that on the plane, like the scenic plane, because oh, I did yeah. the scenic plane thing too, and he he talked to you through your like headset, and was telling you about all the little locations that were down below that you were going over. That's fun. And That's the sound cool. was like very realistic too, like a plane. You could hear the plane. It was kind of muffled because of the headset. Yeah, yeah. The ambient noise was really good. Um, like just sitting, you can kind of hear people mumbling in the background. You can hear, you know, the wind in different areas, you know, the nighttime snow, uh, resort was like blizzardy. Yeah. So you had a lot of wind and a lot of, you know, 
that kind of stuff. But like you could still hear the the intercom and it would be just a little more muffled because of the wind and I don't know. That that was neat. Uh what I didn't like about it is that the music there was in it was very repetitive. There was only <laughs> like maybe two songs. And um there was a lot of time where there just wasn't any music at all. There was nothing, no background noise. It was just this boring blah spot and I didn't like that. Specifically, we spent a lot of time on the, at the beach resort, the marina, but um there were a lot of spots there that just had no sound. It was just very quiet and boring and sleepy. But, but, isn't, I mean, but isn't that how it's supposed to be if you're really at the beach? Ah, very relaxing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, I still give it a four, though. Fair enough. <laughs> um, so, overall, gameplay. Um, oh, overall, <laughs> for the game, not just gameplay. <laughs> overall, for this game, I gave it an eight out of ten. Me too. Um, you know, it's a fun game. I could see myself playing more of this game. Yeah. And trying to unlock more things and finding all the bungee jump spots and catching all the fish. Um, But it wasn't like the game of the year. (laughs) (laughs) I have a lot of fun sitting down and just like vegging out. Like I could see this being an easy like after work sort of thing or just, you know, just we're bored and want to hang out. This is a great game to just throw in and hang out and play. Yeah. Um. Yeah, <clears throat> I I think I think we unlocked like maybe half of the game because once you unlock all of the mini game stamps in the in each resort, then you get the end credits, and that's when it's like, well, I mean, we technically beat the game, but I mean, obviously, there's still a lot to unlock and a lot to find, but um. You know, that I guess once you get all the mini games, that's about all there is. And I think that they said it was something like 50 mini games or something like that. That's what it says on the back of the box. Enjoy over 50 mini games. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's a fun little game. I liked all the Pac Man references. Yeah, there was a ton of them. (laughs) There was a ton of them. I think in the city, there was like the. Bondi Namco like tower or like work building or something. I'm sure that there was a lot of references in that city that we've missed. Yeah. But yeah, like the the marina, the Pac-Man was the like cove area. The cove, yeah. Um Yeah, it was cute. Yeah. Very smart. I liked that they throw that in. Threw that in. It was fun to look for. Yeah. And then I at, I think at one point I'm like, wait. Is this a Namco game? Like, <laughs> why is there a Pac-Man? Because it looks so much like Pac-Man. And then we looked it up and it sure was. Yeah. It was definitely a Pac-Man. So, anything else? No. No? Um, I gave it a 36 out of 50. Yep. That's what my total was, too. So, that's a 72 out of 100. That is a C minus. I think that's fair. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it could have been a little better. Maybe if I had given it a better music score. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i mean it's a good game um it's a great game to just kind of veg out and hang out i could see this being fun with more people too because you can play up to four players with i'm i'm pretty sure all the mini games can play up to four players um it's like a four player couch game too so if you have two sets of joy cons boom four car- four four potential players um you can also play with the pro controller you can play with the um the two joy cons on the little like dog ear adapters. So, I mean, it's, you know, playable with all the different controller types. So that makes it really easy for multiple players. Um, you can also connect another switch. Apparently it was in one of those tip screens where you could have two switches playing with each other. Hmm. So I'd be curious to see what that's like. I think there is some sort of online play too, but I, haven't had a chance to explore that at all um but yeah i mean it's definitely a fun game for really the whole family i mean they're the games are really simple for some of the smaller kids 
but there are some more challenging mini games too that you know just to keep the adults on their toes so uh yeah that's about it for this review um next review episode is going to be with seth and evan they're going to be talking about halo 3 and yes that is going to be their last episode um we will be filling it with another thing but that's to be determined right now um our next podcast episode is going to be zap chats where we're going to be sitting down with seth and evan talking about um just reasons why they want to leave we're going to be talking about some um we're going to be going over the iTunes um, reviews. So if you haven't left a review yet, do that so that we can talk about it on our Zap Chats. And then, uh, yeah, check out our new episodes as well, where me and Lori sit down and talk about all the sorts of games that we have that we've found out that we have found while out thrifting. So if that sounds like a lot of fun, check out our website, zapnight.com, where you can see everything we got going on. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe while you're here. We really do appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.